I'm telling you, sister, she even went ahead and chained the key to my office. As you speak, I do not have access to my office. I wanted to break the door, but I decided to come and tell you so you can talk to her. I can't believe it. My daughter changed your office key? I'm telling you. Held a management meeting without your consent after taking you to the police station. My goodness! Is she insane? Mommy, she's definitely not insane. I am not insane. I mean, what have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Oh, you think you can just come here and report to my mother? Is that gonna save your sorry ass? I mean, what have I done wrong, mommy? Nothing! I just asked you to give account. Grant me access to my father's account and you, 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 you're reporting me to my mother? I'm, Mom, who is this man to stop me from vetting my father's account? That's my father's company. I told you, didn't I? I warned you. I told you a day like this will come where you will have to give account of everything you have done in that company and that day is now. Come here to report me. Now will you shut up and listen? Are you insane? Can you imagine the way you raising your voice at my brother? Just your imagine. uncle! Just imagine. He was even there when I gave birth to you. Are you mad? I'm not. I'm not mad. I will not shut up. Yes, fine, if you want me to listen to you, I will listen to you because you're my mom. But. Mommy, can't you see? How else do I make you understand that this brother of yours is nothing but evil? He's evil! And I need you to see him for what he truly is. Sister, did you hear that? Did you hear Adaku call me evil? Adaku of yesterday. I can't believe this. Adaku, I clean her poo. I'm telling you. Call me evil right before you. Sister, I know how you begged me to take up this job. I know. I know how you begged me to come help you run this company. I refused, but you insisted. And now this. Adaku has the guts to call me evil. It's okay. You know what, sister? Right here, right now, I quit. Oh, no, I'm so done. <laughs> no way. Come on, quit. <laughs> you can't just quit just like that. I mean, why are you running? Why? Of course you're going to quit, but not before you submit every account that has to do with my father's company. You think you're smart? You want to run away? I can see through you. You're going nowhere. Sister, I'm not going to stay here to exchange words mm. with this little girl. Oh, no. I will not do that. No, come no, 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 come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Why Frank. are you running? Anyway? Hey, come on, you keep quiet. Enough. Now go to your room. One. I say move to your room. This is a joke, right? Huh? What is this? Mama, we, we, we tried our best. We, we... What nonsense is this? I mean, this is what I paid for. Is this? I don't get it. Oh! So you have been bought by that idiot. But to make a mess of your result, of your parents' money, sending you to school, to become something reasonable in life, and then you make a joke of your own profession by handing me over this nonsense. Even the blind can see. I can see through your irregularities. Your fingers are not adding up. Are you, are you serious? Oh, you know what? Get the hell. Out of my office. Get, Get the hell out. Get! What the? You're so cheap. My God, for how much?
much. I could even audit better than an auditor. What? My elders, that is the current situation. I am beyond grateful to my friend who made me realize all this. Thank God for her. Mm. Good one, my princess. Uh, what about the documents? I handed over all documents to the lawyer. He has them. Very thoughtful of you. Wonderful. And um, does your mother know about all these properties and cars? No, not a word. I didn't tell her anything. I haven't so far. <clears throat> My fellow elders, that little useless, fool and useless boy killed our ego. It shall be confirmed by Oracle, Ogugu, and SMO. And since we have asked him to come and take an oath to prove his innocence, he refused. Since he refused, we have to go and see Ezemo. Tell him to visit him anywhere he is. Uh, uh, Ichi, I think there's no need for that. Mm. You see, the last time we went to see is there more? Yes. <laughs> he told us not to bother ourselves. That Ogugu will do his own thing at his at the right time. But that will not stop us from going to Ogugu to tell us more about the court case. To him to do something so that we come out in shame. In shame. Yeah. Shame. Capital shame. He will definitely come out in shame. He's who is he? Obonye. Obonye. Eight years ago, he banned him. Oh, what are you doing? Well, eh, because we are we have all uh, spoken well about this matter, mm. and then um, at this juncture, Ichi mm. Chikwado has spoken it all. Mm. He said it all. We the other shall proceed straight to Ezemo. So that we brief him on the current situation of things and also he has some few instructions from him. Okay. Oh, no. We now know which way to follow. Yeah, that's what Meanwhile, <laughs> our princess, the pride of our kingdom. <laughs> exactly. We are so happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> princess. Ah, uh, princess. Are you once a CID? Oh, don't know her. Ask na brede ni bidike ma brede ke jama dike. I want to say, get a cool get a go. Naya Kalakana here in Guru. O click click on a book was in a Halienu. Nkonya meta Obulu. As no bella boom boom, we have a job. Hm. Alupuana funde mo. Nkonya meta misie. Or from Gabanekia. Or from Gabanoje. For the past days, you have not been yourself. What's going on? Are you okay? Sit. That's um. uh, nothing. You see, I have... Uh... I have a lot of work at the office to do and um, it's overwhelming, you know. I sometimes 
Forget about myself. Let's just work. Nothing more to it. I'll be fine. Hmm? Honey, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Trust me. I am. Okay. Just that I'm worried. You don't need to. What the hell is that? What? What the hell is that? What? Huh? What's oh. that? Huh? What's it? Ah! Oh my God! Ah! Oh my God! Oh my God! What is it? What is it? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Go to Google Shrine and confess to the people of Isanabu Kingdom how you killed the king. Else, you will be disgraced before the entire kingdom. I will go nowhere. You can do nothing! I am innocent! Frank. Frank, I need you to look at me. Stop pressing this your phone. I don't like what you're doing, Frank. Are you looking at me in such manner? Frank, I... Uh, listen. You know it's only you and I. Why will I be begging you for things? I have been calling you. Frank, I've been begging you for money, for you to assist my family. You know how things are for my children and I. Yet, you kept pushing me around like I don't even matter to you. Sister, I'm, I'm your help. Ish. I'm as worried as I am not finished. I'm a no good but chill. Now, what has come over you? It's only you and I, you. Eh, Frank? My husband died. Things are so tough for us. Please help me. Let me sort things out in this family. Please. Let me at least assist your cousins. You told me that the government is owing you billions of Naira. Of course. The question is, have they paid you? If yes, even if it's little, give your sister, please. And if no, when will they pay? Is it when we are dead? I am as worried as you are right now. The government has refused to pay me our money. They don't want to release this money to me. As we speak, it's just 3,000 Naira, 3K I have in my pocket to survive on. I'm even thinking of suing them or sending them to court. No, 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 no. So no, they no. can pay me no, my no, money. No, 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 no. I'm tired of the whole thing. No, no, no. Pick on one name. I don't want to lose you. How can you sue government? Please. Even if you sue them now, where's the money you will use to defend yourself in the courts? Do you think it's easy? Is it the 3,000 in your pocket that you use? It's okay. Don't worry. Please. It's okay. Well, another thing. What's going on between you and my daughter? Why are you two fighting? What's the matter? Eh? Why? I mean, is there anything that both of you are not telling me? Sister, it's the same matter. It's what all matter? about this money. This money that the government is owing me. The same issue. She has refused to understand. Because I am the one directly connected to the whole deal. That's why she's, she's, she's mad at me. For the wrong reason. Oh, I get it now. So that's the reason both of you are fighting all the time. Yes. I don't, I don't understand. I, I, I mean, Princess should understand that my brother is not the government. 
Please let me talk to her. Let me explain things to her so that she can understand. I will talk to her. Don't worry. Okay. Once she comes back, I will talk to her. But if she refuses to listen and still wants to carry the matter to court, relax, I will defend you. Sister, please defend me. Defend me. I, I don't want to die on time. This whole thing is, is, is driving me crazy. Now, who is talking about that? God forbid you will never die. Nothing will happen to you in Jesus' name. Amen. But the stress is too much on me now. Just try now. Try. Just try and ask the government. Eh? Try. Let like them release the money. I'm sorry, I was checking something very important in someone else's case. This is right. Yeah. I can't remember meeting you before. So what brought you to my office? My name is Lolo Namaka of uh, Izinabu Kingdom. My late husband calls me. Obiagiliakuya. My late husband was he saw your majesty, Cletus, off his Abu kingdom, who just passed away. Your lordship, I was supposed to be here with my younger brother called um, Mr. Frank Ubiako. But funny enough, he couldn't make it, so I decided to come see you, you know, just uh, to seek your help. You're welcome, your majesty. I was supposed to be in your late husband's last offer, but unfortunately, as a day, I was in London. Please oh. accept my condolence. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. And what can That's I right. do for you at this time? Okay, your lordship. Like, um, like I said earlier, I was supposed to be here with my brother Frank, but he couldn't make it, so I decided to come see you alone. Well, it's about my husband's business. When my husband passed away, I pleaded with my brother to come help me take over my husband's company, which he accepted. And my husband's business is known for executing contracts. So it then happened that my brother came in and took a large amount of money from my husband's company to a secure contract with the federal government. And this money Mercy. we're talking about, yes, is in billions of Naira. Hmm. Billions of Naira. And up until now, we are not yet paid. We are still expecting the government to pay us but it's as if it's not forthcoming. So, my daughter became angry and started suspecting a foul play, which I am not suspecting anything because I trust my brother. He would not do anything that would hurt me. So my daughter started threatening my younger brother that she's going to sue him if he doesn't return the company's money. So I'm begging my daughter, please, be patient. But she refused. Finally, she carried out her threat by, you know, uh, suing my brother. So the reason for me coming is that I am certain that this case will be, you know, called out in your own court. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm here for you to at least help us, please. Oh, so Mr. Frank, Obiako is your younger brother. Yes, please. Wow, impressive. He was actually here a few minutes ago, just before you came in. Frank was here? Yeah, he was here. And I actually wow. told them what to do to squash the case, you know. 
Okay? We told him what to do to squash the case. Yeah. If I may ask, your lordship, what was the thing you told him? Very simple. It's nothing too big, too serious. It's, um, I only asked him to give me a sum of 50 million to be able to... 50 million? What? Yeah. Uh, comparing to what you're talking about here, the gravity of this matter is not something that, that uh, should be too much to offer. So, 50 million. 50 million? And, uh, please, your lordship, what was my brother's respond when you mentioned 50 million naira? Of course, you're obliged. You're obliged. Frank obliged. Yeah. All right. All right, then. Your Lordship, I'll be on my way now. That'll be fine, Your Majesty. Thank you for your time. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. You will. Hello? Princess, there's a situation at hand. Please, where are you? I'll make you to come to my office. No, this is not time for questions. I would rather see you in the office. Please. Okay. I'll be waiting. Hello, Frank. Frank, I don't understand what's going on. How can you promise the judge you're going to give him 50 million naira? I, I mean, I don't get it. How? When government is yet to pay the company the billions of naira they are owing us. No, 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 my question is, how do you intend paying this judge that's 50 million naira now? Okay, Frank, listen, let me ask you a question. I mean, is there something that I'm supposed to know which you're not telling me? Because I don't understand. Yes, that's because I... Hello? Hello, Frank? Mommy, why? Mommy, why? Why are you doing this? Why am I doing why? what? What? Like seriously, you're acting like you don't know, right? No problem. One thing for sure, mommy, I am going to shock you. I'm going to surprise you. Now what are you talking about? Mom, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You went to the judge's office to tell him to squash my case with your brother. You did that. That is not fair. Why? Listen, whether you like it or not, that wicked brother of yours is going to prison. And there's nothing you can do about it. It is a promise, mommy. Hold on. Who told you that? My lawyer called and told me everything. He did. We're all meeting at the judge's office tomorrow, right? Mom, I can't wait for tomorrow to come. By the time we get to his office tomorrow and the revelation is unveiled before you, <laughs> you will be the one in a hurry to send that brother of yours to prison. Watch out. Princess. Princess, hold on. Princess. Princess. Madam, you were here yesterday pleading on behalf of your brother, you know, concerning the case that your daughter instituted against him. Even though I requested for some certain amount of money to be paid to me, I wasn't really comfortable after you left. I had to call my brother, Barrister Chooks, who happens to be my cousin, of course, and also the same person standing in for your daughter to bring the case files to me and also the documents. And of course he did. And having gone through it, I found out that your brother, Mr. Frank, has actually been a dubious person. I have documents here. which you may like to also go through. 
Yes. I will not be to confirm the name of the others. It will surprise you to know that your brother Frank has properties worth millions of naira, not just any amount of money in hundreds of millions scattered all over Nigeria. Please take a look at the document and confirm the name on it, the address, and also the signature. I guess that reflects that of your brother. Not at all, Your Majesty. It will also surprise you to know that the said money you're talking about has been paid. Mm -hmm. And your brother mm -hmm. decided to play smart and fast one of you. But thank God. Thank God that the princess was smart enough and fast to dig him out. And to expose his various activities. Mm -hmm. I'm dumbfounded. Come on. This is unbelievable. Frank. Mm -hmm. House is scattered. Hmm. Hold on, you're not cheap. Are you sure? Somebody's not trying to frame my brother wrong. Your Majesty, I just asked. Your Majesty, with all due respect, nobody's framing your brother wrong. This information without you bringing your mother in. Mom, I couldn't have brought you into it. Because if I, if I did, you would have told him. And that would have narrowed my chances. Besides, over time, Mommy, I did everything I could to open your eyes to the fact that this brother of yours is nothing but evil. But did you believe me? You didn't. Frank, it's true you are my brother, but God will punish you for me. Mom, this is not going to end in court. Because as we speak, the elders are all waiting for him. Frank must have to take an oath as regards my father's sudden death. Because everyone is suspicious of him. Do I care? Let them do anything they wish to do. My brother is evil. I still can't believe it. Frank. The boy is wicked. Mommy. Can I shock you? I just hope that your heart can handle this. Will it be more than the one I witnessed in Judge's office? No, now. Okay. No, my heart is strong now. Mom, would you believe it if I say that Frank, your brother, 
has about 6.9 billion naira of that is money in one of his accounts that I just figured out. Are you for real? I am. 6.9 billion naira. 6.9 billion. Yes, mom. In his account? Yes. Different account? Yes. It's a lie. Mom. It's a lie. How did you get to know this? God! But mommy, not to worry. I have used court order to have the account blocked. So, of course, he cannot even transact from that account anymore. Moreover, this money, at the end of all this, is going to be reversed because if that is money. Are you sure? Mom, are you seriously asking me if I'm sure? <laughs> Mom, this is my profession. Or have you forgotten the daughter of who I am? <sighs> now, Mom, take a good look at me and tell me you are not proud of the daughter that you raised. <sighs> is there anything more than the word proud? God have mercy. Proud is an understatement, believe me. I bless the day I give birth to you. I'm more than the word proud of you. And God will bless you. Amen. Frank, my brother. Can somebody win? What type of a brother is this? He's not far from a prodigal son. He's wicked, so extravagant, living life is all he wants. Open the gate. Open the gate. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Who oh, Nabi? Where is your boss? My boss come out. But um, my madam be inside. Please call her for us. Lock the gate. Madam! You're too in love with money. Money is what he thinks of. He's ready to kill for it. He's too greed and wicked. He's too greed and wicked. Money is not wicked. You don't care how it goes. You're too greed and wicked. Yeah, good afternoon, ma'am. Excuse you. Who are you people? Mm, good day, ma'am. We are from the Federal High Court. Federal High Court? Yes, ma'am. Please, ma'am, we are given seven days to vacate from this house. As you can see, the gate is already mm. low. Yes. What's that from this house? Including the cars. Yes? Wait, and are you sure you're talking about this house? Yes, madam. And here is our letter. Hmm. Ma, sorry, I think you are making a mistake. No, ma. Please, we are giving you seven days to move out of this house. Just like that? Yes, ma. Thank you. Excuse me, ma. Please, can you... Please, open the gate. Seven days. Hey! tried so hard to put up with your excesses, but you seem to be taking advantage of it. You want me to cut ties with someone, someone that has not done anything to me. This person we are talking about is someone I'm going to walk down the aisle with soon. You see this house? You are not living here. And you are not going to like my comeback. For your sanity and mind, I will advise you to stop coming to my house until everything is completely settled. My father's throne is lying desolate and all you keep telling me is that, is that you're not ready, you're not ready, you're not ready. I mean, this is clearly not about me, it's just about you and the throne. Why would you get intimate with my son? Do you know what is at stake because of your selfishness? You mean your wife has denied you intimacy in the past one month? You have to inflict 
serious pain on her. I will do the needful and I will use other measures. I do not care if it favors my son or not. Don't you dare me. Stay away from my sister. It might not be justifiable enough, but please hear me before killing me, please. Hmm. It's such a way of trying to evade death. You have caused me so much pain. I am supposed to pay the ultimate price here, please. I Destroy every, everything. You are leaving this palace for a more worthy woman. This should be the very last time I am going to see that idiot in this house. How dare you disgrace my fiancé? Honestly, love, I feel like tearing you apart right now. Are you infertile? Is that what you are hiding from your husband that has made you to refuse Shut me? Up! And if you must know, I am not ready to carry a child. For now, I need you to stay back home until we rectify this. How does it dawn on you that I have a man now and you are still single? How dare you make such dirty and careless utterance? As a move! Put, put, put the gun down. Put the gun down. Oh, and the, the,